kind of a long title for a presentation, but what we wanted to illustrate here was that the um, solution that we are implementing, because we're about 50%, 60% done with the project right now, integrates with all three of those different subjects. So, you know, instead of trying to cover one and not the other, we wanted to, to let you know that this solution, you know, basically takes full integration of SAP and can be used across the full spectrum of, of, of the uh, implementation. So, we are a fully owned subsidiary of Altria, and Altria's mission is to own and develop financially disciplined businesses that are leaders in responsibly providing adult tobacco consumers with superior branded products. And PMUSA's unique role within Altria is to responsibly and effectively develop, manufacture, and market superior branded cigarettes and smokeless products for adult tobacco consumers. So current system applications. We're on SAP 4.7. We use MinCom Link 1 for our interactive equipment catalogs. We're also using GUI XT for our technician's workspace. The spare part problem, you got to find a paper-based manual. You got to flick through the manual to find the right model. Now we may have 10 books per each manufacturer's cell on the floor. Those books can be a thousand pages deep. You got to copy down the part number on a piece of paper. Then you got to re-key the part number into an order. A lot of times the technician just goes to the stock room and gives them a piece of paper and says, I need this part. Or you can select the parts visually from a parts catalog on Link 1 WinView, and you can integrate that seamlessly into SAP. And no chance of the wrong part number is kind of a misnomer because it's, you know, we are constantly doing modifications to the equipment, so there may be a, a little bit of lapse between when the catalog actually gets updated once a modification is installed. The bottom line boiled down to the need to find the right part first time every time, and in less time. So where we're looking for the improvement on the meantime to repair, is specifically around the time it takes a technician to find that part and then retrieve it from the stock. Some of the old system challenges, uh, decreasing leg work and increasing wrench time, delivering relevant technical data rapidly to the staff, uh, an improvement in accuracy of part selection and reduction in redundant purchases of over or overstocking, Ensuring parts descriptions of non-stock materials are accurately conveyed to the purchasing area. Ensuring that the right parts are ordered with minimum end-user effort. And making SAP plant maintenance easier to use. So our project vision was to transform content information into information that could be readily used by maintenance personnel. So directives, we wanted to have full integration with SAP, allow the maintenance personnel to find the right, right part easily, minimize any finger mistakes, be able to control and manage the content, easy navigation, usage of a manufacturer's part number cross-reference, automate publishing of the catalogs using a single repository, that being SAP, and then some portal integration and mobile devices, we wanted to be able to go into that in the future. A little bit about GUI-XT for those that don't know anything about GUI-XT. It's developed by a company called Synactive. And it's an application that allows users to create customized screens for launching transactions without doing actual out programming. And it enhances, the, it enhances the user interface and usability out on the floor. 
technicians don't have to remember transaction codes and so forth. They can just click on a button that's in their language and, and launch the, the application. Uh, we have one transaction for them to use on the manufacturing floor, and that's basically saved in the favorite, so you know it's right there for their use. And we use it for processing other work orders and for parts uh, reservation. Um, Dan's laid, um, laid a good foundation for kind of our project. What I'm going to do is go through some of the screens that we've implemented at our facilities, and uh, then Dan will come back and give you some um, some integration of our next steps and, and where we're going to go. Um, GUI XT again, um, they've provided some great interfaces. Um, this is one of our key ones. This is our technician workspace and it is very, very important to us because we require quite a bit from our technicians. As you can see up there, um, you got to cancel time or confirm time. So this is where they go for, for doing their time confirmation. If they put in the wrong amount of time and they need to cancel it, the top button will also allow them to do that. Um, the link one catalogs I'll get to on the next screen. Um, work order components so they can actually see if we've got bill of materials. Um, update equipment. Really interesting that we have that one up there, but these catalogs are linked to our equipment records. So if for some reason production actually puts in a notification or a work order to the wrong piece of equipment, our technicians cannot launch the catalog that they need to go look at the parts. So that's really important for us. They have the opportunity to go in there, change the equipment, save it, and then they can get the right catalogs. Down the bottom, they can, of course, close the notifications, create work orders, create notifications. So a lot of uh, requirements by our technicians. So that's their user screen, and that is, kept, like Dan said, it's kept in their favorites so they can go through it. Okay. So I'm going to go back. Let's assume that we know the work order number. I mean, um, they have a couple of different methods that they can get their work order numbers, but this is a unplanned order. We're going to go ahead and assume that they have the number, and we're going to go ahead and go to the next screen. So um, they're going to go ahead and put the work order number in there, and if they want to launch the catalogs, what they will do is they go ahead and click on the link one catalogs. It will actually provide you with a complete list of all the catalogs that we put together so that they have different selections. Now you notice here that not only are these mechanical, but we've created electrical catalogs. Um, something very new because I know when I came to um, our manufacturing facility, we were really focused on mechanical. Uh, I do have an electrical background. We saw some great opportunities. And I'm going to sidetrack to the electrical piece so that you can see that, and then I'll come back to the, the mechanical piece so you can see how we actually bring that. So we'll go ahead and go to the electrical. 